All right, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. All right, today we are going to be working on the zombie spawner tunnel uh, from the kill chamber to the uh, spawning room. Uh, I've already mapped out a few things uh, that will be useful because uh, this is where I intersect a uh, section of another cave that leads to another spawner over yonder and I have marked where I want to uh, start uh, going down to do a spiral staircase in a uh, clockwise fashion. So I've marked those two locations. I just need to find out because uh, I already have this location written down. 108 by 16. Uh, so I need to find out where the kill chamber will meet and then I will start that and we'll get that sorted. I want this to be a quicker video so probably a lot of things will happen off camera because that's a lot of digging. Hi there. All right. 121A. All right. Now that I know where I'm going to be going, I might want to take a screenshot of that just to make life easier. There we go. Now I will take care of that. And I will meet you all back here in a few minutes to uh, show you the progress I have made. So, alrighty. Alright, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf back again here. And I wanted to bring you back in for the, uh, the reveal. That is not what I wanted. I need to grab a bucket. Because I need to carry a tune. As you can see, I have been very busy. Let's see. Yeah, you can replace here. Place the torches with them. Well, that didn't work. That's okay. That is not what I want. Oh. Well, that didn't work because it does not have a second use. <laughs> So, oops, that's okay, I can fix that. All right, and this is the spiral staircase. I still need to do some cleaning up, but there's still more work to be done. I need to make a light column that goes floor to ceiling so that this will work. And here is the hallway I have built. Well, that's why I had a torch. Here is the access to the cave I was talking about. As you can see, she leads down, spirals around, and eventually 
leads on in to another spawner, which we'll sort out eventually, just not in this episode. Down we go. Into the Kilimajig chamber, the killing chamber. I might put some glass there. Just so I can look upon my victims. But I gotta line this all with bricks. I gotta make more bricks. I got plenty of smooth stone. So I can do it. So let's go back up. And fix the hole that I made. Now it's getting dark out. I might want to sleep too. I can tell because the mini map in the right corner got dark. Darker. Alright, now that I've slept. Steal the doors because we're going to need those. Replace this a brick. And then we go right back down and place some doors. And I'll make another cut and I'll line the, uh, the hallway with brick because that's long and tedious and I don't have enough to say to help y'all, so. There we go. One door. I've also got to light it up and put stairs. Let's see, this works. No, that does not work. I want X. Uh, I wonder. Do I do I wonder, wonder what's in my wonder ball? Sorry. Had a little bit of an ADHD moment. Oop. Oop. Let's see if we can get it now. Yes, we can get it now. This makes my brain happy. Boop, boop. Boopity, boop. Boopity, boop. And one more door. Yes! Yes, 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 yes. Everything's coming up Millhouse. We have easy access to our killing chamber. Our, and our... Uh, spawning room. Everything is coming up Millhouse. All right, I'm gonna take another cut here and I'm going to sort out the uh, the lining of the wall. I've got brick to make, so I will be back with you all shortly. Thank you. All right, welcome back to Angel Wolf's Journey. Angel Wolf here. I'm gonna take a quick nap and then I'm gonna show you all what I have accomplished with the uh, the underground uh, tunnel and how it looks, how it's decorated. I did quite a bit of work. It took a few hours to get this done. This is, I hope, going to be an interesting video for you all for today. Oh crap. Well, that little baby Decided it didn't want to live no more. Come on. Just if I could get rid of them. I got some boots. Alright, let's take a look. I have put pumpkin lighting and I've added a uh, a viewing hole, a, uh, a voyeur viewing hole, if you will, for uh, my soon-to-be-killed zombies as they will rise up after the uh, soul sand starts working in 1.13. 
but uh, let's show you around and here's the steps and I put upside down stairs in the hallway leading down made a little more friendly oh, yeah, you've already seen the uh, the access hall and here's the uh, the three by three I've used steps and I put a wooden safety rail and a fence gate to make life easy. I can now get my torch back. And life is good. So if you liked what you saw here today, don't forget to like, favorite, subscribe, send a friend request. Uh, you. If you feel so inclined, you can subscribe to my Patreon. It's only $5 a month. You get to see the videos one day early. You get a producer credit at the end of every episode. And you get to help me build and design things in my world. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day. I hope you enjoyed this little short video.